Hey everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Envirostyle Apparel. I am sorry about the shaky camera. I'm on my way out today and um, I'm going to Beverly, which is near where I live. Um, it's where I actually grew up, so it's pretty cool. I um, haven't been there for about, be about three years. Last time I went, it was when we were at the registry office when we're sort of doing all our forms to get married. Whew, yeah, long time ago now. Anyway, we're gonna go, go around some charity shops and see what we can find. I might even get hubby on camera today, who knows? <laughs> right guys, I will see you on the other side. <laughs> so here we are, a bit of uh, dodgy bus and train footage just to show you the journey. Um, yeah, bus and a train, bus and a train back. And then when we got there, first shop was Dove House Hospice. I do apologise for the camera angle. I filmed everything as I normally do, but for some reason my iPhone spun it round. So the angles are a bit dodgy in some of this. I do really apologise. I'm going to try and do my footage properly next time. For some reason it's just messed up. Anyway, um, I found today we went to Beverly, which is a town... Um, about three or four miles from where I live. Um, it's actually where I grew up that I probably told you before at the beginning of this video, so I won't bore you too much about that. But I used to go in these charity shops all the time when I was younger and I lived there. Um, yeah, it was very expensive. And actually at this first shop, um, it's funny because in my last video I was talking about how nobody's ever approached me about filming before and how one day they will. Well, today... I got rumbled. Um, the manager of the Dove House Hospice come over to me and said, excuse me, are you filming? <laughs> I said, yes, I am. And she went, can I ask why? And I went, oh, I'm doing it for my YouTube video. Um, is that okay? And she was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. I said, I don't get any people in it. All I do is film the clothes. That's all I'm doing, just showing what I'm looking at. And she was fine with it and she left me to it. I did feel a bit embarrassed there. But, you know, it's bound to happen when you're filming. Anyway, um, I did buy a few things from here. Two things, actually. I um, don't know whether they're on the video or not. Um, I'm not going to give you any clues. You'll probably see anywhere when I pick things up. Um, yeah, so wait till the end to see what I got. Let me know, as always, if... Um, I know the angles are bad, so you might not be able to see, but... Let me know if there's anything that you would have picked up um, and reasons why. And if there's anything you wouldn't have picked up that I did. Um, like I said, like I said, the prices are really expensive. Right, so it was this rail when I stopped filming that she asked me. But I had to cut off the sound just in case copyright get me for music. Because they have music on in all the charity shops, don't they? Um, and they like to have a rave in there at times and get their glow sticks out so I've got to mute the video unfortunately and put my own dodgy music over the top but yeah she asked me round about here so I had stopped filming and explained to her what I was doing ah filming is back to normal now right I was fighting with my conscience over this t-shirt for ages it's um, a brand that I used to pick up all the time, Louche, I think it's called. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. But it was just a t-shirt with birds on. Um, as much as I liked it, I just thought it's not going to bring me in enough profit. So, um, yeah, I picked it up a few times. I don't show it on the video. Like, I've done it more than this. I was, like, looking at it, looking at it. Didn't get it anyway. Then we went to British Heart Foundation and just showed you a little snippet there. Um, yeah. I've got a few things from here. It was really hard to film in here because the the um, rails were quite packed, but it was nothing compared to the last shop I went in. Now, I was real funny about filming in here because the lady was just like literally off camera over to my left, which you can... There's a lady there, but she ain't the one that works there, but the counter, I don't know that you can see it. Um, You can slightly, but she was there and I thought, oh, I don't want to be asked again. So I stopped filming. Um, yeah, Age UK. Things were incredibly high priced in here and really, really squished together. So it was really hard to get good footage in here. So I was trying to get the right angles and that's probably why my camera flips round. But yeah, um, 
I'll show you the prices in the video. You'll be able to see, look, I'm zooming in there, $39.99 for a jacket that was, like, made of jersey. It wasn't even, like, wool or anything. It was... They literally did it for the make. Um, and all of the prices were really what I thought is extravagant, to say the least. Um, I've known resellers. It's never happened to me, but I've known resellers before get rubbish off people for buying out of charity shops and selling it on because apparently people in poverty um are buying the stuff out of the charity shops and we're stopping them from getting those things well i'm sorry when when i've been at my skin test and had no money in the bank and had to eat beans on toast i won't be able to afford these things it was ridiculous so what they're thinking i do not know but there you go i mean i admire places for getting the right prices for things but then sometimes it gets beyond a joke now here this footage is where it got a bit silly because not only is my camera angle wrong which i didn't realize because i did have it the right way but m for some reason my phone switched it round everything was packed together so tightly i couldn't even look at the labels properly so i had to stop filming um Anyway, I will show you a picture of my bags at the train station as we're waiting to go home at the end of this footage. Hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry about the angles again. I am going to work on that, guys. And yeah, wait till the end to see what I got. See you soon. Hello, I am home. Look at this. This is what I call the reseller frizz. When you've been in and out of shops looking for stuff and you don't sort your hair out because you're busy carrying loads of clothes. <laughs> anyway, I'm home and I got some really good stuff. So I'm going to get in and show you what I bought. Um, as always, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I've overspent. Let me... Let me blah, 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 blah. Let me know if you like what I bought. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I've broke my brand cherry with this one. Uh, this was £8.99. It's a size 14 and it is mauve, which I believe is, is it anthropology? I'm sure it is. Um, medium dress. It has a um, fishtail fishtail skirt if you can see that a fishtail skirt it's lovely it's really pretty it's got three quarter length sleeves it's got the flowers on it's nothing exciting material wise i think it is cotton um i will check that actually while i'm on uh oh, it's lined <laughs> i'm having problems guys i'm having problems um yeah it's lined and um, there is i can't find the label made in vietnam yeah, um, I think, oh gosh, I've just turned it inside out. And I still can't find the label. Now there's progress for you. Yeah, I don't think there is a material tag. Anyway, usually, I think this is, these are cotton mauve dresses, I believe. Um, but I will find the label at some point. Um, I always find that if I can't find the label in my video, it's really obvious to me later on and I'm like, how annoying. But yeah, um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to put this on for. Like I said, I paid 8 dollars It's a size 14. Um, I'm going to be conservative and say 30 to £40. Pounds. It may be a little bit more. It's really nice. Really, really cool. Will look amazing with a kick-ass pair of boots. Yeah, I think it's lovely. Yeah, so yeah, that's the first thing. Um, I got a lot of small sizes today, which I'm not always like overly excited to find. But, you know, it is what it is. I bought what I could and I was picky. Um, right, so whistles. This is 100% wool. It says on the label, size 14. Um, it was 5 99 But look at this. This is not a 14. It is tiny. So... I'm going to show you all the fringe and everything first. It needs a de-bobble, but as we all know, I have a de-bobbler, so I'm not bothered about that. If I put it up close, you can see. You see, it is in good need of a bit of love and attention paying to it. 
but yeah it's a size 4 not a 14 probably why it was still in there probably why it hadn't been bought and the price was quite low who knows but yeah pick that up anyway um i think again 30 to 40 pound for this maybe a little bit more if i'm feeling cheeky <laughs> this is a cool one okay so this cost 5.99 it is a size 10 it is burden there you go it's grey short sleeve cardigan with a fabric belt which i love i love these sorts of cardigans i think they're really cute it's got pockets um yeah really really nice now the fabric content in this is lovely that's all i have to say it is really nice fabric content and one i haven't had before so it's cotton vico and nylon but it has eight percent cashmere and 5% Angora Rabbit Hair. I don't know whether you can see that label. Zoom in if you may. Um, but yeah, I think that is lovely. So I'm um, again, 40, 30, 40 pound for that. I think is pretty good. Hang on, I just need to flick off a notification. That's really annoying. <laughs> right, 7.99. Um, this is marked up as a six and it was correct. It is an extra small. It's Stockholm Atelier and other stories. Now I've picked up Paris Atelier and other stories before and just and other stories and it sells really well. So this is going to be no different. It is lovely. It is a long sleeved cropped top slash thin knit jumper, but it does have some like sheerness to the sleeves and to the material on the body. It's a real nice khaki sort of green colour and it's got metallic fibres in it, if you can see those. It is quite sparkly. don't think the camera picks that up too well. But yeah, it is. If I move it a bit, you might be able to see it. But it's really nice. Um, I'm thinking again, this is going to be a 30 to £40 pound video. I always do this. Um, I tend to stick to the same prices, but I do think again at 30 to £40. Pound. I do think it's achievable might be a bit more who knows this is a little bit more than what i would normally pay for karen millen ah, there's the tag they've put it through the belt hoop as well which again really annoys me but six pounds size 14 for this very gaudy looking skirt but i do think um if you're into all your fashion and everything you'll have heard of cottage car it is a style that's out at the minute and I think this does go into that category. So a keyword cottage core for things like this. There you go, there's the caramel and it says it all the way around, size 14. This does have wool in it. It's not completely wool. It is Vico wool and elastin, so it's 40% wool. And it comes with its own belt, which I love. Um, there we go. I would never wear anything like this, but I don't wear skirts skirts are not my thing but yeah it's nice nice material nice colors in it yeah i think again 30 to 40 pounds <laughs> oh dear yeah i do though honestly that is what i think right this was five pounds size six tommy hilfiger just a bog standard denim skirt 30 quid for this all day long maybe even 40 who knows but yeah it's cool it's got these patterns and stuff on it it's got the pattern and detailing inside which i really like it's got the patch on the back hill figure like sewing bits yeah it's cool and um, again very small size so not too impressed favorite find of the day this is the last one so I bought this for $7.99. They've marked it up as a size eight. It is not a size eight. Right, okay, so here's the label. Now this is vintage, 80s, possibly 70s. It's a striker made in England and it is a faux fair coat or fake fair coat. Um, it is, I think it's, what's the materials? Hang on a sec. It's really nice. 100% acrylic, 
100% cotton, 100% isotate. That's obviously different parts of it because um, it can't be 100% everything. But yeah, it's really cool. Now, this has been marked up as a size 8 and I think that's why it was in there. But look, right, I'm sorry, I'm not a size 8. And yes, I am going to try the coat on. Um, I need to put it down a bit so you can see. But I can do this up. It is not small. It is not tight. I think this is possibly a 14. Let me see if I can put the camera somewhere and show you. There we go. Not a flattering angle, but you get it. This isn't an eight. It's got lovely big pockets. <laughs> Del boy pockets. It's just really nice. So I have looked online. I'll put you back up there now. I've looked online at this. Um, very similar coats in the same make are uh, put on as 80s slash 70s vintage for fair coats. Um, they go anywhere from around the £50 mark up to the £100 mark. So I'm going to, of course, go high. And because it is in really good condition, again, they have done the thing I hate. And they've put one tag through there with no label. And then stuck another tag through this part. Now, I don't know whether that's had a tag on it at some point and I've re-tagged it. Who knows? But I'm going to be really careful. I'll cut that out. Um, so it doesn't damage the lining but i think 100 pounds for this isn't wrong it's got these really cool buttons there you go i was gonna say you can't really see how cool they are but look at that they're like a pearl woody shiny type button really nice yeah so that is my find of the day and as i always say pick up your fares they always go well guys i know they're big and bulky and heavy and they're a pain in the ass if you don't have a car as we know but they're worth getting always pick them up all day long unless you live in my area then leave them for me <laughs> anyway that's what i bought let me know what you think in the comments as always i hope you've enjoyed the video today give me a big thumbs up if you like it and also please like um subscribe and hit the bell um, for regular content i am having a week off sourcing now so next week there will be no sourcing videos unless we're coming to a load of money which could happen who knows um but yeah i don't think we will be if we do then i will do a video but uh, yeah, expect no video next week about me going out shopping. I think I'm going to do one about my the way I store things, which will be a good laugh because some things aren't stored very well at all. But I know where I am with it and that's the main. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Take care, stay safe. See you all soon. Bye bye.